Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Please support me and like my video. In this part Evan Windsor said to Supreme Elder, I know. Supreme Elder said to him, Humph. Good, I am afraid, you don't know. Then Elizabeth came near to Supreme Elder and said to him, Are you hungry, Master? How about I cook some food for you? Supreme Master laughing, Ha ha ha, you are so thoughtful. Have you learned the fifth part of the Divine Feather Arts Mantras? She said to him, Yes, I have bore it in mind. Then again he laughed and said to her, Good, remember this part is of the essence of the Divine Feather Arts. Elizabeth said to him, But something always confuses me. Supreme Elder said to him, Go ahead. She said to him, I have a feeling that the Divine Feather Arts mantras are incomplete. Supreme Master said to her, You feel it right. The mantras are indeed incomplete. Then she say, Just as I feel Master, why is it incomplete? Master said to her, Exactly speaking, it is originally incomplete. Besides it, there is also the secret feather arts. They are complementary to each other. Only if you master these two arts, can you learn the ultimate martial skills. The lifetime aspiration of our forefathers is to find the secret feather arts. She said to Master, Oh, I see. Then Master said to her, The combination of these two arts can rank into the world top ten among the martial arts. It is a pity that we don't have it. In consequences, our divine feather arts is even not more powerful than the house stark flaming arts. She say, this combination can only rank into the top ten. Then master said to her, don't be too greedy. There are a tremendous amount of martial skills around the world. It is not an easy thing to rank into top ten. Only a local strongest man can learn the martial skills that rank into the top ten. If you were lucky go learn the secret feather arts, with your martial arts talent, you would reach at least level 9. She was surprised and said, really? So amazing. Master said to her, the most powerful martial skills is the supreme sect psychic arts. Its sect master alone defeated leaders of the five greatest sects. He ranks first. The supreme sect is still the most powerful sect, though it has disappeared from sight for years. Then he think that my master is so yearning for the supreme sect. What does it look like? On the other side, Diego came in the mountains of the house Windsor, at that moment Gerald reached there. He said to Diego, Hey, don't you wanna see me? Diego was upset and said to him, Why did you find me again? I told you, we would better not meet now. Gerald said to him, What are you afraid of with such a hidden place? No one will come here. Diego was aggressive and said to him, What the hell do you wanna do? You are involved in the murder of Brad, or not you? You turned up just after he was killed. What a coincidence. Gerald smiled and said to him, Yes. Then Diego said to him, Our cooperation comes to an end. Don't come to find me anymore. At that moment Gerald turned in monster and said to Diego, There is no return. I can kill you right. Now, or make our previous promise public. You think you can survive? Then Diego think what Z strong aura. I have no way to escape from us clutches. Diego was afraid, and he agreed with him. Gerald smile and say, how wise you are. I want you to do something for me. You won't let me down, will you? At that time, Greg, looking Diego and Gerald talking to each other. After that Greg, go to the Ives, and Ives said to him, Greg, did you find anything? I am sure, Brad was murdered by Gerald Stark. And today, he forced Diego, to do things for him. Perhaps he won a scheme against someone of the house Windsor. Ives say, scheme against someone. Greg said to him, Sect Master, what do you plan to do? Kill, Gerald, Ives saying, No, we don't have to change our plan because of Diego. Watch him closely, to see what the hell he wanna do. Greg say, I, on the other side, for several days, Ives lives an easy life. When he is free, he will dig into the ninth heaven goddess painting. And sometimes, he will help Lily detoxify the poison. Lily recovers very fast, and now, she can walk on her own. But she still sits on her wheelchair to avoid attracting any attention. Baron Power has been steadily up under Ives' guidance. Ives thinks no one of the younger generation is a match for him. Ives feeing pain and say ouch. Because he practice much to do next level gain. He think that this feeling again. Can't I break through my limitation? Once I reach level 6, I will lose all my cultivation base. Baron seeing the Ives and think what is wrong with him. At that moment they saw a monster. Ives say a monster comes out. Ives was shocked. 90% of the whole continent is covered with forest. In forest, there are various kinds of monsters. Some of them are even powerful than a level 9 martial master. 
they often assault villages and even the domain of the noble families. Every time, they will bring a catastrophe to people. Ives said to the Baron, stay here, I will go have a look. Baron said to him, be careful. After that Ives swooshed towards the monster. Monster attack on Isabella, but she save on this attack. Isabella think that half an hour ago, I just found Diego sneaking about. I guessed he would go to see someone. I wanted to follow him to see who he would meet. But, upon my arrival at this mountain, I was locked on by this monster. And she think that it was hard to deal with. Monster again attack on Isabella, and this time, her arm is wounded. She say, this monster is no less powerful than a level 7 martial master. I finally escaped from its clutches. But it blocks my way to the house Windsor. I have no choice but flee deep into the forest. Oh no, I am now leaving farther and farther away from the house Windsor. I got to think of an idea. Gerald laughed, ha ha ha, and say, you wanna escape from its clutches. This eagle has a sharp sense of smell. Then Diego said to Gerald, are you sure, you can kill Elizabeth? If this thing is exposed, we are both done. Gerald said to him, hey, bro, you don't trust me, this eagle is no less powerful than a level 7 martial master. She is dead meat, already. Diego said to him, I trust you. Everything goes as you planned. Gerald said to him, of course. Diego said to him, if so, I am leaving now. Gerald said to him, oh, bye, bye. Gerald say, humph, a coward. She really has something, if not, she can't dodge so many attacks. It takes longer time, than I expected. The things would get worse, if the elders of the house Windsor sense the danger here. Looks like, I have to kill her by myself. Elizabeth begin to think, what a sharp sense of smell it has. I have no choice but to hide here. What should I do? What should I do? Help me master. Then she listen the sound and upset, and say, who? Ives came there, and he say, oh. Seems you got beaten hard by someone. She was weeping and say, Ives. Just go. It's very dangerous here. I don't want to danger you into this. Ives said to her, are not you curious about why I am here? She said to him, if you wanted to kill me, I would have been dead several days ago. You don't have to waste so much time. Ives laughed ha ha ha, and said to her, don't you know no one dares to marry a woman who is extraordinary smart? She say, humph, leave me alone. Ives hold her arm, and she was shocked and say, hey, what are you doing? Ives said to her, you arm is scratched. It needs healing right now. She withdraw her arm and say, you lech. Stop pretending to be a good person. Ives said to her, hey, miss. Why did you call me a lech? I am examining your injuries. She said to him, you, a big lech. Have you forgotten it all? The rumor about us is now spread all over the house Windsor. It's all your fault. You a big fool. Ives put finger on her mouth and say, stop. It's you who broke into my room at late night, right? She said to him, um, then I've said to him, and it's Diego who spread out the rumors widely, right? It's his fault, not mine. She was speechless. Then she said to Ives, I don't care who spreads it out. It's all your fault. You are a big fool. You are a big lech. Ives said to her, stop arguing. She said to Ives, if you hadn't locked me in your room, how could we be caught by him? Then Ives think and say women. A straight man. Then Ives said to her, all right, all right. It's my fault, I risk my life to save you, but you. After that Ives was moving for outside, then she said to Ives, hey. Wait, and said to him, Diego is a spy. I will help you district that eagle. If we came across it on the way back. Tell my master, Diego is a spy, and he colludes within an outsider to kill me. Ives said to her, are you caring about me? After all, I am a man. Just let bygones be bygones. And, why are you sobbing? Today I will bring you back to the house Windsor safe and sound. Then she said to him, Ives, actually you are good. Suddenly Ives put his hand on Elizabeth's head, and think that it's chi disappeared. Then she said to him, Ives, you, you are a big jerk. After a while, then he think it's coming. After that he said to Elizabeth, you are safe now. I bet he won't find. She slap on Ives' face and say, you jerk. Ives said to her, what are you saying? Enemies were near us just now. You think, you can deal with them, with a seriously injured arm. She said to Ives, huh, enemies passed by here, really, I didn't sense their chi. Then Ives said to her, pfft, by the time you sense their chi, we are dead meat. I don't wanna explain, she said to him, then, who are they? 
Ives said to her, one son of the house Stark, Gerald Stark. Elizabeth was shocked and said to him, Gerald Stark, why is he here? Does Diego collude with him to assassinate me? Ives said to her, you are not that fool. Gerald cultivation base has reached level 6. And his eagle makes him much more powerful. Then she said to him, they have made a precise plan for this assassination. He and the eagle are a perfect combination. We are dead. Ives said to her, it's easy to knock him down. But we need more time to deal with his eagle. I got it. She said to him, what? Then Ives said to her, let me heal you up first. We will be at a disadvantage when you are wounded. She said to him, heal me up here. Ives said to her, hey, wait, wait. After that, Ives tore Elizabeth's shirt on her arm. Ives think that I never expected she would be so sexy. Then she said to him, Ives, you. Ives said to her, keep your mouth shut. If you want to leave alive. Then Ives, bandage on her wounded arm. She was crying because of pain and say ouch. Ives said to her, it's your luck to meet me. Look, the wound is so deep. If you let others treat this, it would leave several scares on your beautiful arm. And you wasted much of my panacea. All right, all right, please don't wear a pathetic expression. I feel more comfortable to see your mischievous expression. She laughed ha ha ha, Ives think that's so moody. Women is really a complex creature. Then she call him, Ives, Ives, and said to him, actually, you are not that annoying. At that moment, Ives said to her, watch out. Gerald said to him, I have finally found you. Gerald seeing towards the Ives and say, tisk tisk, one more enemy, and said to him, you are Ives, right? Bro, I really hate the way you look at me. After that, Ives said to, Isabella, go, Isabella say Ives, and she run away. Gerald seeing towards Isabella and say, you wanna flee? Then Ives and Gerald go, Gerald think what? Then Ives attack with blue spot making on his hand, an eagle came there. Ives laugh, ha ha ha, and said to Isabella, don't be afraid. Step back, Gerald said to them, today, no one can escape from my clutches. The rumor says you and he are having an affair. I am wonderful why you fall in love with such rubbish. Isabella was angry and said to Gerald, it's none of your business. Gerald said to her, I really like your stubbornness. If you surrender, I will have mercy. After that, Ives said to Gerald, are you ignoring me? Gerald said to him, I am. You are just rubbish, with no more than level 6 cultivation base. How dare you speak to me like that? Ives said to him, the more arrogant a man is, the earlier he will die. Gerald said to him, Humph, you can do nothing but talk big. My eagle is powerful enough to take down both of you. At that moment Greg seeing towards the eagle, and he feel danger and also blue spot show on his hand. On the other side, the same spot blue show on Ives' hand. Greg was coming toward the eagle with sword's power. And Ives think that Greg is reach here. Eagle was roar to attack on Ives, and Gerald said to Ives, seems my eagle just can't wait to eat you too. Ives said to him, you think a beast can take us down? It's a great pity for you. I can kill him, with just a hand. Gerald was aggressive and say, you asshole. Then Ives said to him, ho ho, and then, Ives attack on Eagle with one hand blow. And at that moment Greg attack with sword. Eagle was wounded. Gerald was shocked, and he said to Ives, what? Eagle was screaming because of wounded. At the end Eagle fell down on floor and dead. Gerald can't believe, and say it's impossible. He killed a level 7 eagle with just a hand. Then Gerald said to Ives, you asshole. Ives said to him, now, you have to fight by yourself. But it's a great luck. You can barbecue it. Gerald was thinking that did he really kill it? What the hell did he do to it? Does he have any helper around here? He could kill my eagle with one move. No matter what reason, I am no match for him. Ives said to him, Gerald, come kill me. You don't dare now. Gerald said to him, what the hell did you do? Ives said to him, how dare you have a stroll here with a pet eagle? You think the elders of the house Windsor can do nothing about it? Or you think you have surpassed then in the cultivation base? Gerald was angry and thinking that things would be much worse if they came to his aid. Then Gerald said to Ives, I don't know how you could do that. You killed my eagle, I will make you pay blood for blood, and say I will come for you. And he disappeared. Isabella say to Gerald, you don't leave. Then Ives hold Isabella arm. She said to Ives, what are you doing? Ives said to her, what a bad temper you have. You are now badly wounded. How can you fight with him? But, just let him go. He can run, but he can't hide. I will make him pay sooner or later. Isabella said to him, all right, all right. You rascal, have your hand off. 
Ives was coughing, and she is thinking that smirk. Just a fool, Ives said to her, then let's go back now. But wait, then Isabella said to him, I am wounded. I can't walk alone. Then Ives said to her, hey, you are a level 6 martial master, aren't you? How can't you walk alone? She say, oh my, how cruel you are. Once I move, the wound will ache. How could you mock me? You are evil, you are evil. And she was weeping and say, just leave me alone. Let me die here, I will anyway, if I walk back. Just let me die here. Ives said to her, all right, all right. I don't wanna, argue. Please don't show such an expression. So what the hell do you wanna do? She said to him, carry me on your back. Ives said to her, hey, up. Don't dawdle, or I will really drop you here. She is laughing, ha 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 ha. Then they were going toward the house. And in the way, Ives said to her, don't pull my hair. She say, oh, Greg, thinking that everything goes as planned. On the other side, this man is the Lord Odd the house Stark Flame Stark. He was angry on Gerald. Gerald was upset, and said to him, Father, it's all my fault. Then Flam Stark said to him, Do you exactly know what your fault is? Gerald said to him, I failed to kill Elizabeth. Then Flame Stark used hand power, and he pushed the Gerald. Then he fell down. Gerald say, Father, Flam Stark said to him, You still don't know what your fault is by now. How can I have such a feckless son? You have three faults. First, your hasty action spoiled our plan. Second, Elizabeth doesn't die, but we lost an eagle that we have fed for dozen of years. You can't make it up even at the cost of your life. Third, you fled in panic. You are afraid to die. You dishonored our family name. Flam caught him Gerald on power hand. And Gerald was crying, ah, ah, start bleeding on his mouth. And he said to father, I am wrong. Please give me one more chance. Suddenly a monster came there, and said to Flame Stark, My lord, I have investigated it. Then Flame released the Gerald, and again, he fell down. Monster said to him, I looked at the wound on the eagle. It was pierced by some sharp weapon. Judging from the severity of the wound, it should be some giant crossbow. Flame was surprised and said to him, Giant crossbow. Are you sure? He said to him, I am sure. Then Flam said to him, seems the house Windsor has long prepared for our attack. Humph, I am really curious, with what can they fight against us? You can leave now. After that Flame said to Gerald, you, I will put off handling your matter. If you make the same mistake later, I will kill you. Gerald say, I, father, on the other side, I've said to Greg, is everything already done? He said to Ives, I, as you ordered, I have done something about the wound on the eagle. They will think it was pierced by a giant crossbow. I even saw Flame here, after his son failed the assassination. But I don't dare to approach him. I've said to him, you did right. If you approached too close to him, it would arouse his alarm. Then Greg said to him, my sect master, killing him is just like stepping an ant to death. Why do we have to take so much trouble? I've said to him, Greg, don't do things hastily. Flame is a hero of the Zhou dynasty. If we killed him, it would alert other sects. By the time, they will strengthen defense for our attack. Flame thinks the House Windsor can be captured with ease. He never knows we are here. If the House Stark was ruined for its ambition to conquer the House Windsor, no one could sentence us. And no one would suspect the Supreme Sect for making this happen. Greg thinking that Sect Master, for revenge, the Sect Master mind has been matured enough. Then Greg said to him, is there anything I can do for you next? I've said to him, just wait. I see. On the other side, in the meeting hall of the House Windsor, Elder Master, said to Diego, you, colluded with Gerald. And his eagle almost killed Elizabeth. Is this true? Diego said to him, she is lying. I was set up. How can I collude with our enemies? I ever said something bad about her. So she hated me, and planned to set me up. Then Isabella say, I followed you. All the way, were not you on the way to meet him? You even sent an eagle to ambush me. I was almost dead. Diego said to him, Do you have any evidence to prove what you said is true? It's unfair to accuse me of betraying our family just because of her words. Did you see us meeting by your own eyes? She was aggressive and say, I. Suddenly grandfather came there. He said Diego is innocent. I had him pick up herbs for me. Diego was happy and say, Grandfather. Son Windsor, Diego grandfather, who has no real power, but has a high cultivation base, so his position in the house can't be underestimated.
Evan Windsor thinking that he must have known his doom is sealed, so he turned to his grandfather for help. Then grandfather say, these years, I have been cultivating the martial arts in a sealed room. I don't want a medal in such matters. Then he hold Diego arm, and say, I am here to prove his innocence, in case someone purposely, frame my grandson up. Evan Windsor, was angry and said to grandfather, hey, what did you mean by saying this? Then grandfather said to him, you know what I meant. Evan say, you, elder master said to him, enough. Son has proved his innocence, so Diego is cleared of betraying our house. Grandfather say thanks. Elder master put his hand on grandfather's shoulder and said to him, you just came in right time. Tomorrow, the family meeting will be held. I am gonna take one more apprentice. How about joining us? He said to elder master, surely, I will. Elder master, said to Evan Windsor, come here. It is a long time. Since we got together last time. Isabel said to Diego, humph. I won't let you off easily. Next day, Elizabeth said to Elder Master, it's wonderful that this attic can float in the sky. Sect Master laughing, ha ha ha, and say, this is just a tiny part of the relics of the floating wonderlands. According to the old legend, the whole floating wonderlands is floating up in the sky. But it was ruined in the war between heavenly sect and demon sect. It's lucky for me to pick up this floating attic. Though it can't be used as an attacking weapon, it's a great place to have a full look at the fighting arena. Grandfather say, I think it's Baron or Derek. Evan Windsor, said to him, I don't think so. I bid for Bart. At that time, Baron came there with Lily, people were surprised and say, Baron. Oh my god, it's Lily. Lily is here today, because Lily has locked herself in her yard, since she lost her cultivation base. Today she is looking great. Baron will fight to be the Supreme Elder Apprentice. As his sister, she is supposed to be here. Lily was ever a martial arts talent, just like Elizabeth. It's a pity that she is a cripple now. You have to admit her beauty is astounding, though she is cripple. No one can match her in beauty expect Elizabeth. One guy said, I heard the son of the house Bolton has a thing for her. Maybe they will get married. Baron thinking, but for Ives, sister would have been angry to tears when hearing these words. We have experienced many ups and downs. Sister is different from before. She is now more mature. Sister and I both owe wives a lot. Lily said to Baron, stop. Here is good. Baron said to her, okay. Don't worry. I won't let you and Ives down. One guy seeing towards Lily and said to her, just stay here to wait me back. Lily say, I. Baron was angry and say humph. Everybody gossip on this. Then Ives attack on this guy and pushed him back. And Baron say, my sister is here, whoever dares to approach her. Then the guy said to Baron, I will make you feel regret. Make way, Lily thinking and say, Zix double exclamation mark. That is my brother. After that she thinking about Ives, that where is Ives? Baron will compete for the Supreme Elder Apprentice. Does he not wanna have a look? Ives came on the backside of the Lily and said to her, today is an important day for Baron. Why are you looking so upset? She was surprised and say, Ives. Ives said to her, yes. Are you worrying about your brother? Lily said to him, ahem. No, elder master said to Elizabeth, it's almost the time. The fate of our house is now at stake. It is a great luck that we have many martial arts talents among the younger generation. I hold this family meeting to select the best of the best. He will be my second apprentice. Now the family meeting begins. Lord Windsor said to Supreme Elder, Derek has improved a lot. Supreme Master said to him, Baron is also not bad. And he thinking Thar Baron cultivation base has reached at least level 5. Since he learned the secret feather arts, Baron has had a much higher starting point than others. These days, Ives has made some elixirs for Baron to nourish his body. So, his cultivation base has been above level 5 earlier. Next match, Baron vs. Zirin. Baron attack on Zirin, and Zirin thinking that he is so strong. Baron pushed him, and Zirin fell down, at the end Baron win the match. After that one guy came there, and he said to Supreme Elder that Bolton family member came there. One guy name is Demons. Demons is more than 40 years old, and has a strong body. He walks in big strides, emitting strong chi from all over his body, as if there is a horrible monster hidden inside him. In the house Bolton his position is secondary to Lord Bolton. He is one of the two level 7 martial master in the house Bolton. Even Jonas the Supreme Elder has to show some revengeance for him. This guy is young man is the eldest son of the Bolton. He is a famous playboy of the Ning City. Yi Bolton. 
He even sneaked into Lord Stark's daughter room and stopped her taking a bath. This is the most notorious thing he did. Eventually he was caught and was almost beaten to death. This led to the hatred between these two houses and even triggered a war. This also caused the alliance between the House Bolton and the House Windsor. Zen Bolton, Lord of the House Bolton, is a peerless hero. How can he have such an creepy son? Supreme Elder said to him Jonas long time no see. Evan Windsor thinking that demons deserves his reputation. Ye Bolton say, hello, uncle. Then he say, hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth say, humph. Then one lady served them a tea and she said to him, tea, please. Ye Bolton laughing here, he he, he he. And say, thank you, miss. Then he say, I heard there is a martial arts competition today. I am so itching to watch it. So, I bring demons, along with me here. You won't mind that, will you? Supreme Elder said to him, of course, we won't. It is a very great honor to have you here. Then ye Bolton seeing towards Elizabeth and say, oh. Elizabeth thinking that he is a lech. Then she said to him, watch competition. I am afraid you are here to watch pretty girls. Then Evan Windsor said to ye Bolton, watch your tongue. She say, humph, ye Bolton laughing, ha 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 ha. And say, you are the one who knows me best. Just as you said, I am here to see you. What a gorgeous beauty you are. Elizabeth was angry and say, shame on you. Supreme Elder stand up and said to Elizabeth, behave yourself. She say, I, master. Then Supreme Elder said to demons, please forgive her. She is just too childish. Demons said to him, it doesn't matter. I really appreciate her honesty. Then after silence, demons said to him, Jonas. There are so many top young martial artists in your house. Jonas said to him, thank you for your words. Demons said to him, this apprentice is not bad. What is his name? Supreme Elder said to him, he is the son of my fifth younger brother. Then demons said to him, oh, Lily brother. Supreme Elder said to him, right. Ye Bolton say, eh, he is Lily brother, my future wife brother. Supreme Elder cough, and thinking that is it a right decision to make Lily marry him. I don't want to push her into the fire pit. We once negotiated his marriage with Lily, but it is not settled yet. How dare he say Lily is his future wife? How shameful he is. Demons said to Supreme Elder, have you decided to let her marry ye? Ye is good-natured and loyal to love. There are some bad rumors about him, but they are all made up by the house Stark. If this marriage is settled, he will set his heart on family. Supreme Elder thinking, ye, loyal to love and then said to demons, please put this matter off for some days. Anyway, we still don't know Lily attitude. She is after all a girl. Please leave her more time to think about this. Demons laugh, ha 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 ha, and said to him, all right, all right. This is their personal affair, after all just leave some time for them to develop affection for each other. Ye say, excuse myself. I am gonna say hi to Lily. Supreme Elder say, um. After that, ye was going to meet Lily. Lily was upset, I've said to her, don't worry. Then ye came near to Lily and said to her, Lily, I am so happy to see you here. Lily remained silent, then ye said to her, you are looking pretty great today. It is good for you to have a look around. Don't worry about Baron, I will do everything, I can do to help him. After you marry me, Lily was surprised and said to him, ye Bolton, watch your mouth. There is no engagement between us. Ye was shocked and said to her, but, elders of the house Windsor has agreed to. Lily said to him, but I never agree. I am cripple, it's a great honor for me to have your affection. But, I have the final decision to my marriage. If anyone force me, I choose death. Then ye said to her, Lily, you got me wrong. Then Ives caught him on his arm, and said to him, Mr. Bolton, if you really love her, you are supposed to win her love with actions. If you turned to elders, and then forced her to marry you, that would be too cruel for her. Ye was angry and said to Ives, who are you? How dare you teach me? And ye thinking thar my hand can't move. Then Ives lose his arm. Ye say, humph, Ives said to him, you don't need to know who I am. You are not in your turf. If you are pissed off, and want to fight, then let fight. Then ye say, you bastard. We are allies, I won't stir a fight here. But I do remember you. I've said to him, I would welcome you here any time. If there is a chance, we can sure work on our martial arts skills together. Many onlookers start to admire Ives' bravery. They all know ye cultivation base is even higher than Elizabeth. It is a surprise that Ives fears nothing. He even has the guts to provoke ye. 
This action changed their attitudes towards him. After that Yi turned his face and said to Lily, I will wait for you forever. Even if your disease can't be cured, I will be with you. Lily said to him, thank you so much. I am overwhelmed already. Please leave me alone. Yi was aggressive and say, you bitch. Lily said to Ives, sigh, I am sorry to drag you into this. Ives said to her, I don't care. Otherwise I wouldn't have chosen to help you and Baron. Elizabeth said to Yi, she she. Hey how was the talk? He remained silent, and going towards Supreme Elder. Elizabeth seeing towards Lily and Ives and thinking that what is the relation between Lily and Ives? Why did he stand out to protect her? On the other side, Yi say, humph, how dare he be so rude? If not for father, I would have killed him as easily as killing a mosquito. Demons smile and say, you know, young men are all all-tempered. Some little conflicts continue to watch the competition. Next match started between Baron versus Derek. Both were attacked to each other. On the other side, at that time Flame and Gerald reached there, and he said to Gerald, Jonas. It is so busy here. Even the members of the house Bolton are also here. Then why you did not invite me? Flame and Gerald going towards the meeting place of Windsor House. They broke in the house Windsor gate. When they reached to the meeting area, Evan Windsor said to him, Flame Stark. This is our turf. Flame Stark said to him, Who do you think you ate? Supreme Elder said to Flame, It seems you are here to make a mess. He laughed, ha ha ha, and said to him, I am joking with you. Today is a big day for all of you. I am here to, to send good blessing. Demons said to him, I thought Lord Stark is here to stir up a fight. Because Lord Stark has cultivated the flaming arts to the peak, no one alone can match him in martial arts. But if Jonas and demons join hands, they would not fear him. Flame Stark said to him, what did you say? Even if I want to stir up fight, I will choose a time when you are not here. I never thought you and Yi would be here. Yi said to him, can't I come here? Flame Stark said to Yi, you can. But I heard the House Bolton is gonna make an engagement with the House Windsor. The son of Lord Bolton will marry a cripple, huh? Yi was angry and said to Flame Stark, what did you means by saying this? Anyway, it's none of your business. Flame Stark said to him, great pity for you. My daughter, Moon, often speaks of you to me. Yi was happy and say, really? Then Supreme Elder said to Lord Stark, you broke the gate, you are not here only to talk about such trivial matters, are you? Flame Stark say, of course not. I heard there are many outstanding martial arts talents among the younger generation of your house. So I take my son Gerald here to have a try. Flame say, um, you don't dare. Then Demon said to him, hey, you are outsiders. The competition today is for the young of the house Windsor. Flame said to him, if you don't dare, you can send Elizabeth and those two men down here. Supreme Elder said to him, if one side loses. Flame said to him, if losing side life is decided by fate. Supreme Elder thinking that he plans to kill people here. I am afraid, even if they three fight in union, they are still no match for Gerald. Elizabeth said to the Supreme Elder, I am willing to fight for our house. Evan Windsor surprised and said to her, what are you saying? You wanna die? Then Supreme Elder said to Flame Stark, your son cultivation base is far higher than hers. How about we admit the defeat? Isabella said to him, Master, I am willing to fight. Supreme Elder said to her, Elizabeth B., do you know what is coming for you? Flame said to him, Jonas, the older you are, the less bravery you have. You are even not better than your apprentice. What a big famous house. Are all men just cowards, except this little girl? Elizabeth said to him, Master, trust me, but I am not willing to join hands with those two men. I want another man. Supreme Elder say, um, another man. Flame Stark said to her, it is all right. You can choose any man under 30 years old. Supreme Elder said to her, who do you want? Then she gesture with finger towards Ives and say, I want him. One guy say, she wants Ives. Is she mad? After all, Ives hasn't reached level 5 yet. Elizabeth said to Supreme Elder, I want him alone to fight together with me. Ives thinking that I must owe her something in the past. Gerald seeing towards Ives and thinking that it is him. Supreme Elder thinking that Ives captured her twice. If they fight together, they might stand a chance. Then Supreme Elder said to her, All right, I will send her and Ives to fight with your son. Lord Stark, what do you think of it? Flame Stark called Gerald, and he said to him, I am willing to fight. Flame Stark laughing, ha ha ha. Good, I can't wait to see the exciting fight now. Remember, know when to stop. Gerald smile and say I know. 
Then Gerald coming toward Ives and said to him, Come here. I said, I will come for you later. Then Elizabeth coming towards the Gerald for fight. Gerald thinking that Elizabeth, enjoy your last breath. I will kill you today. Supreme Elder said to Ives, Are you willing to fight together with Elizabeth? Lily grasped his arm, and say Ives. Ives said to her, Don't worry. Then she lose his arm. Ye Bolton was shocked and said to demons, Hey, uncle, she cuckolded me before so many people. Demons said to him, Be quiet. We will talk about this later. People were talking that will Ives choose to fight. Who knows? I think he will anyway, he is one of us. And now is the time that matters the honor of our whole house. Ives said to him, I am, I am not willing to fight for the house Windsor. Everybody were surprised. Ives was clam and said, I am confused. Why do I have to fight? Anyway, I never admit I am one of you. So, this matter has nothing to do with me. Diego said to Ives, you are an ungrateful bastard. Lord Windsor keeps you here alive for years. How can you? Ives said to him, stop nonsense. Why don't you fight? Keep your mouth shut. Flame Stark was happy and say, impressive. A group of cowards in your house. In such a big house, no one has the guts to fight. Ives said to Flame Stark, shut up. This is not your place. You are not in the position to talk. Flame Stark was angry and said to Ives, you little bastard, who do you think you are talking to? Supreme Elder thinking that it gets worse, Flame Stark jumped, for going towards Ives, and say, how dare you be so arrogant? Let me see how powerful you are. Supreme Elder said to him, Flame, stop it. Flame attack on Ives and say, go to hell. Supreme Elder and demons stop the Flame Stark. Ives thinking that Flame Stark even more powerful than Greg. He deserves his reputation, in the prefecture G of the Zhou dynasty. Then demons say to Ives, ha ha ha, you really have the guts. I admire you, Supreme Elder said to Flame. You are on my turf. I won't allow you to hurt anyone here. Flame said to him, your turf. Then so what, I have gone through many wars alive, and killed countless enemies. Even thousands of them can't hold me back. Who do you think you are? Supreme Elder think that never thought his cultivation base has reached such a high level. At that moment Gerald Stark came there with flaming power and ready for fight with Ives. Elizabeth was surprised to see Gerald, and she thinking about Ives. Elizabeth said to Gerald, I would not let you hurt him. Then Baron came there, and said to Gerald, right, whoever wanna hurt Ives has to step over my dead body. One guy say, what a horrible presence. How dare Ives offend him. Other guy say, I, I. He really has the guts. Gerald said to father, let me put him down. Flame said to him, humph. Gerald said to Ives, you are the first one who ever dares to talk to my father. So, arrogantly, I will give you a good beating. If you win, we leave. If you lose, I will kill you to make it up to my father. Baron said to Gerald, I said, you have to beat me down first. Then Baron jumped toward the Gerald, and Gerald attacked with flaming on him. Baron fell down and coughed. Everybody was shocked. One guy say, oh my god. Gerald say, who else? People were thinking that Baron is a seated player in this martial arts competition. But he was taken down so easily. After that Elizabeth was ready for fight. Both were attacked with their powers. Gerald said to her, your power is not bad. Now we are talking. Ives began to thinking that she can't hold him back too long. Gerald thinking that a good chance to kill her. Game over. I got to be serious about this fight. Then Gerald say the flaming artist. Shield of flame, out. And Elizabeth can't bear the Gerald power attack and say ouch. On the other side, Evan Windsor, say my daughter. Then she attack with divine feathers shower. Power on Gerald. At this time, Gerald can't bear and say, ouch. Supreme Elder said to Dimmons, so many sharp feathers shaped she attack. She has cultivated this sword skill to such a high level. She might stand a chance. Then Gerald thinking, not that easy to take me down. Then Gerald again attack on her with flaming power. Supreme Elder, was shocked and say, this is. Flame Stark was happy and said to Supreme Elder, Jonas, stupefied. My son, Gerald, has successfully cultivated the flame soul. No apprentice in your house can be match for him. Elizabeth was try to handle this attack. Gerald said to her, stop struggling. You are not a match for me. Then Elizabeth, say, windfall, thousand swords attack. Then she again attack on him. But her power was low than Gerald attack of power. She can't stop the Gerald attack. Then she said to Gerald he, he, you have run out of strength. Gerald said to her, goodbye. Elizabeth, fire snakes. 
On the other side, Supreme Master, was upset, and say, oh, no. Flame Stark said to him, humph, Jonas, you wanna break the rules? Supreme Elder said to him, stop. Elizabeth was upset and say, am I, gonna die, and weeping, then Ives came there and save Elizabeth. Gerald was shocked and say, what? Ives said to Gerald, that only an asshole will kill a girl. If you want some fun, come to me. Gerald said to him, how dare you ruin my good thing again? You are courting death. Look, Ives is up on the arena. He said he would never fight for our house. Didn't he? Lily was worried and say, Ives. Baron said to Lily, sister, don't worry, Ives' cultivation base is higher than you think. Then Lily said to him, Baron, are you all right? Then Baron seeing towards Gerald and say, Flame is indeed very strong. After that Ives said to Elizabeth, you would better have a rest down here. You stand no chance to defeat him. Gerald think that this is the best chance to kill her. Ives said to Gerald, hey, son of Lord Stark, your opponent is me. Gerald laughed, ha ha ha, and say of course, I know. You have ruined my good things over and over again. It would be a big shame on me, if I did it get you down today. Then Gerald was ready to attack, at that moment, Ives said to him, wait. Gerald said to him, what trick do you want to play? Ives said to him, it is a duel, is not it? We got to first make clear the rules. Are weapons allowed or not? Gerald said to him, stop nonsense. You can do anything that you can do. Ives said to him, anything. Is this what you said? Gerald said to him, it is. Let's get started right now. Stop playing for time. Ives say, good. Then Gerald attack on him. Ives save on this attack. Ives think that so fast. Gerald said to him, he he, your movement is not bad. You will end up the same, death. Ives said to him, oh, really? Then Ives attack on him, he can't bear the Ives attack and say, ouch. Everyone was shocked and say, what was happening just now? What the, hell is this? Gerald said to him, Ives, how dare you use dirty tricks? Flame Stark was angry and say, what trick did that bastard use? Supreme Elder think that he is really not that simple as expected. Flame Stark said to him, shame on the house Windsor. Never thought he would use such dirty tricks. Supreme Elder said to him, Lord Stark, do you have any evidence? We still don't know what is wrong with your son. Gerald said to Ives, you rat. You used dirty tricks to hit me. Ives said to him, you said I could use any trick that I can do, didn't you? Do you wanna go back on your word? Then Gerald attack on Ives, and say I want you dead. Ives was cool and clam, and save. Gerald was angry and say, what? Dimon said to Supreme Elder, Ives moves are not the martial arts of our house. But they are kind of alike. I am still not sure which sect they belong to. So weird. The moves are so amazing that even the dodge stunt of the Divine Feather Arts pales in competition. Supreme Elder said to him, I feel I have ever seen such movements before. Are these not the most basic martial arts moves of our house? Gravity defying skill. These moves are truly kind of like it. But some more delicate than it. Is there a really such a talent, who can cultivate such basic martial arts moves to such a peak? Flame Stark think that unexpectedly, there is such a martial arts talent in the house Windsor. On the other side, Gerald thinking that his moves are so fast that I even can't touch him. Why, why, why can he stay do clam? Oh my goodness, Ives is neck and neck with him. How exactly strong is he? Then Gerald again attack on him and say, I will kill you. Ives move and Gerald again miss the chance. Everybody was surprised and say what? What was happening? Evan Windsor, said to Elizabeth, he is so tricky. Elizabeth said to him, anyway, it is he who saved me just now. How can you talk, about him? Evan said to her, all right, daughter. I am wrong, but he is indeed. Baron said to Lily, what the hell was happening just now? How did he suddenly get injured? The moment he kicked, I saw a ray of cold light. Lily said to him, hit on his other leg. Gerald shouted and say, I, Ives, you rat, all you can do is dirty tricks. Ives said to him, PFFT, compared with your ambush on Elizabeth. I feel dwarfed in playing tricks. Gerald said to him, do I need an ambush to take you two down? Do you dare to have a fair and honorable fight? Ives said to him, these little tricks are enough to take you down. Why do I have to fight fairly and honorably? You are not qualified to make me do that. On the other side, Flame Stark thinking that all he uses are just dirty tricks. But he still keeps so calm. Obviously, he hides his true cultivation base.
If he fights seriously, my son may be not a match for him. Really surprisingly, there is such a martial arts talent hidden in the House Windsor. He must die, Flame Stark said to Supreme Elder, Jonas, never thought there would be such a shameless asshole in your house. If you are not willing to root him out, then let me do you a little favor. After that Flame Stark, caught Supreme Elder in Dimon's hand and jumped toward the Ives. Supreme Elder said to him, Flame, how dare you? Dimon said to him, Flame, it is a huge shame on you to attack a martial arts apprentice of the younger generation. Ives seeing towards Flame and say he is coming. Flame thinking that if I still insist on attacking him, I will show a moment of weak point. So, that I can't dodge the combination attack of Jonas and Demons. Their palm attack will make me dead or badly injured, for sure. It's your luck. Then Flame said to them, you two old men like chasing me, huh? A palm attack, on Ives and he fell down. Lily was upset and say, Ives. Baron was also upset and said to Lily watch out, sister. Flame said to Supreme Elder, I am amazed. You two are not lazy in improving the cultivation base these years. Supreme Master said to him, Flame, I never thought you would attack a young man. A shame on you. Flame laughed ha ha ha, and say, Jonas. Even if I killed him today, then so what? Who in your house can hold me back? Demons said to him, Hey, Flame, how dare you ignore me? Flame Stark was angry and said, Demons, do not meddle in this. If you leave here now, I will put this behind us. Otherwise, you will drag the house Bolton into this mess. Don't blame me by the time. Demons said to him, If I were afraid of you, you wouldn't see me here today. Flame attack on Ives, he stopped the attack, Flame said to him, good. Ives thinking that is this the power of a level 7 martial master? I was one step from it, ever. If I could defeat a combination of two martial masters, I am indeed in a position to feel proud. Then Flame Stark attack on Ives, and Ives move very sharp. He come back to Elizabeth. Elizabeth hold his arm and said to him, thanks, I know you won't sit by. Ives said to her, hey, my lady. Actually, I didn't wanna save you. It is Gerald who really pissed me off. Elizabeth said to him, Anyway, I still owe you a thanks. On the other side, Flame Stark was angry and say, Courting death. Supreme Master was upset and say, Oh, no. Then Flame Stark called the Flame God. Out. Supreme Master was shocked and say, This is, this is the Flame Magic Sword. Supreme Master thinking that I got to do something see. Or more people will die. After that Flame Stark laughed ha ha ha, and say, all people down here are apprentices of your house. So, dodge it or not. People were saying to each other, ah, we are dead. Help, help. Then, Supreme Master called a cloud-piercing shield. Power. Demons said to him, Jonas. Don't do this. But the power is less than the power of flame, so Supreme Master fell down. Blood came on his mouth and he cough cough. After that Supreme Master think that though I successfully shielded against his sword attack, the impact of the attack still caused many casualties. I can't let him stay here anymore. Flame really wanna destroy our house today. Flame Stark said to Jonas. For those lower people, you directly got hit by the flame magical sword attack. You are really soft-hearted. You thought you could protect them. Today, I will erase the name of your house from the world. Then he attack with sword. Demons say, Flame you have gone too far. Then demons call Black Magic Dragon. Black Dragon said to Flaming as long as I am here, I won't let you do anything that you want. On the other side, I've said to Lily, let's go. Hold me tight, I will take you somewhere else. Lily said to him, okay. Elizabeth said to Ives, hey, wait for me. But he can't stop. Elizabeth say, humph, Ives is a jerk, Ives is a jerk, I really hate you. Dragon and Flaming fighting to each other. Is this the true power of the level 7 cultivation base? I am afraid we can't reach such a high cultivation a base using a whole life. Flame Stark laugh, ha 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 and say, Demons, you can't defeat me with this black worm. Supreme Elder said to Flame Stark, It is the tiger spirit. Flame Stark laughed, ha ha ha, and say Jonas. Seems you didn't stop improving the cultivation base these years. Supreme Elder said to him, It's you who gives me that push. Under such pressure, I don't dare to be lazy. Demons said to Flame, you wanna destroy the House Windsor, right? If so, all Boltons won't sit by. Flame said to Demons, if I set my mind to destroy it, you thought your house can really hold me back. Is show some respect to your house Bolton. But it doesn't mean, I am afraid of you. You thought the combination of you and Long Bolton can take me down. 
be obedient, and give the bronze mines to me, we will live in peace together. Otherwise, don't blame me for being cruel. Demons said to him, when King Wu put down the riots in the Ji prefecture, 19 bronze mines were divided among our three big houses. In spite of the king ban, you intend to take all bronze mines for you oh. Flame, you are too arbitrary. Flame Stark said to him, when King Wu didn't put down the riots in the Ji prefecture, he divided these bronze mines, just to prevent big houses like you two from causing riots. Now, King Wu has had a firm rule over the country. As a founding general, I naturally have the very right to recover the use of bronze mines on behalf of King Wu. Then Flaming God say, this order was issued by King Wai. If you are not satisfied, you can go asking him. I am here to incorporate you into my army by King Qi order. I will kill whoever disobeys the order. Supreme Master said to Flame Stark, you take advantage of the favor of King Qi to commit evil actions. King Qi has locked himself in room for years to improve the cultivation base. How could we see him? It is you who deliver a false order. If you push me too far, I will risk a war. Flame Stark laugh, ha ha ha, and say, risk, a war, huh? Let me see if you have the power to do that. On the other side, Ives thinking that I always know that Flame wants to destroy the House Windsor, but I never thought he would be too important to wait. It is almost the time. On the other side, Flame Stark said, the combination of you two is still so weak. Supreme Master said to him, Flame listen. Our house is not as strong as yours, indeed. But we will fight or die. Today, even if I will get burned and die, I will try to drag you into death with me. Flame Stark said to him, drag me into death. Jonas, you are overestimating yourself too much. Supreme Master said to him, I am not. Then Supreme Master attack on him, with Celestial Slayer. Flame was upset and say, this is. The Taoist Gabriel Celestial Slayer is in your hand. Demons thinking that the Celestial Slayer is missing for years, surprisingly, it is in Jonas' hand. Ives thinking that he finally uses it. This artifact has been in the Supreme Elder hand, always. Half a year ago, I got the news that this Celestial Slayer ended up in his hand. My half-year plan proves to be a success. Today, I finally found it. Supreme Elder thinking that it takes so much chi to wield the Celestial Slayer. I can't waste time anymore. Then he said to Flame, let me see if you can defend against the attack of this Celestial Slayer. Heaven and Earth Revers, Celestials and Dragons. Both slayed. Then he attacked with this sword power. Everything will disappear after this attack. Flame said to Jonas, I will keep in mind, what you did to me today, forever. I will come for you in future. After that Supreme Elder thinking that I risked to summon the Celestial Slayer, still I failed to kill Flame. It would be much tougher to fight against with him next time. Demons coming towards Supreme Master and say, Congratulations, Jonas. With this artifact, Flame is not a match for you. Supreme Elder said to him, I am flattered, the Celestial Slayer is nothing, but a common weapon. Demons laugh and say, oh, could I have a look at it? Supreme Master said to him, only by using the power of blood, can I summon it out. The fight just now has exhausted my chi, so I can't do it now. Please forgive me. Demons laugh, ha 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 and say, it doesn't matter, if so, just let it pass. Supreme Master said to him, thank you, demons. Demons said to him, let's go to see your apprentices and my nephew right now. After that, an hour later Supreme Master say, From now on, all members of our house will be shut up for cultivating the martial arts. No one is allowed to go out without my permission. Demons said to him, Flame will not leave this matter at that. I got to hurry back to our house. See you next time. And then said to Yi, let's go. Yi was upset and say, Uncle. I, then demons say go. Lord Windsor said to Supreme Elder, Brother, they have known you have the Celestial Slayer. Won't this bring us trouble? He said to him, Sigh, all we do is wait and see. On the other side, Lily say, Thanks Ives. Ives said to her, Let's go back. She say, Okay. Then Baron came there, Ives said to Baron, Let's go. Baron said to him, Oh, here I am. Then Ives said to him, Baron, wait a moment. Then said to him, Go, I will send your sister back first. Baron coming towards the Supreme Elder, and said to him, What's up? He said to Baron, you have a good performance in the martial arts competition. I have decided to take you as my apprentice. From now on, you and Elizabeth will learn martial arts from me together. Baron was shocked and say, huh? Lord Windsor, said to Baron, are you stupefied? 
make a salute, Elizabeth said to father, master, why him, if you wanna take an apprentice, why not Ives? He is much stronger than Baron. You are unfair, Evan Windsor, said to her, how can you be so rude? Your master has made the decision, all you need to do is follow it. Stop your complaints right now. Baron was happy, and Supreme Elder said to him, Baron, come to me tomorrow. I will teach you the divine feather arts. In the other side, in the house Windsor Mountains, Flame Stark was going and his blood drop fell down, he was serious injured. He was angry, and say, unexpectedly, Jonas should have the Celestial Slayer, or he couldn't injured me so badly. A shame on me, if I could not take revenge on this. Then suddenly attack on him, and he say who? How dare you sneak up on me? A guy said to him, Flame Stark, Lord of the House Stark, I have been waiting here for you, a long time. Then Flame said to him, who the hell are you? Then the guy said to him, I am the one who sends you to hell. Then Flame Stark surprised and say, have to kill Sword Chi. You are Greg, shadow killer of the Supreme Sect. But even so, it is not that easy to shut my eyes. Then both were attacked to each other with their powers Flame say, I will drain every strength left to fight you. And call, the flame restricted zone. Power. Greg thinking that surprisingly, he could open a restricted zone with a serious injury. Flame said to him, in my Z flame zone, you have nowhere to hide. Greg said to him, oh, really? Flame thinking that I can't make it a long fight. He is looking for my weak points in secret, and constantly exhausted my strength. I heard the martial arts. Every time, he kills a man, his cultivation base will go up sharply. If not today, I may stand a chance. But today, I am badly injured already. If I am still in a standoff with him, I am afraid I will lose and die. I got to make a bet. Then flame attack on him powerfully. Greg thinking that what? He could come to me against my sword chi. Both were attacking to each other with their powers. On the other side, Sansa tried to caught the Gerald. Gerald thinking that I finally got rid of that woman, or I will die here today. On the other hand, both were fell down after powerful attack. At that moment Ives came there and shocked and called Greg. Then he check his breath, and say, no breath. Then Ives checked his pulse and say I feel the weak pulse. And said to him, Greg, wake up. Wake up. Then he mouth to mouth. And say, inhale. After that Greg, open eyes and say, sect master. Ives said to him, gee, Greg. Don't get me wronged. I just wanna. Greg cough. Then Ives said to him, Greg are you alright now? Greg said to him, I am, I am sorry to have you worried. Ives said to him, we got to leave right now. Flame is dead, the house Stark will discover it soon. Ives said to him, I am sorry to have you go through fire and water. Then Greg said to him, it is my competence that makes you worried. After this, I will cultivate much harder to improve the cultivation base. Ives said to him, Greg, actually you don't need to. Greg said to him, for sect master, I am willing to fight to the death without regret. Then Sansa seeing towards the Ives and Greg. On the other hand in house King Chi. A guy came in King House and said my lord, we just got the news. Flame, lord of Stark, was killed. Stark lord was upset and say, Flame is dead, 